Hi, it's Anne here, and today's video is going to be the introduction to my Lip Project Crayon for 2023. So technically I should have started this in January, but after doing my Lip Project last year, which was pretty extensive, I was doing both a project pan as well as rotating through my entire lip collection, minus a few items selectively picked out. Um, so yeah, I wanted to give myself some time to figure out what I wanted to do for this year, what kind of products I wanted to pick, if I even wanted to do it at all. And I kind of like flipped back and forth about not doing it at all. And then I, you know, kind of sat down and thought, you know what, I should try and finish up or get some more use out of some specific products. So I have 10 products here. Um, again, I've been kind of going through my collection this past month and some of them will be things that I want to try and finish and some of them I just, I just want to get some usage out of them. So the first product is a lip oil and this is the NYX. This is everything lip oil and sheer berry. I was working on a similar or well, the same product but a different shade in a previous product project. I don't intend to finish this one. I kind of just want to use it for the next few months and then I'll probably roll this out of this project. Um, but yeah, and I, I thought about maybe cutting the label. So the other one I cut the label and I was able to kind of see progress. I have a feeling this one I won't be able to do that, but maybe I will, you know, dissect the label a little bit so we can maybe see some visual progress. I am weighing all these items as well. Next up, I have what I call lip gloss. This is like a tinted lip balm, lip gloss. It's quasi between a lip oil and a lip gloss. Like it's kind of a little bit of both. It's the Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip Cream in 525 Barely Blush. I bought this because Lauren May Beauty, she loved this product. I don't love this product. I kind of just want to finish it. And by finish, I mean, when it gets difficult to like squeeze it, I'm gonna be like, it's done. I'm not gonna like force myself to get every last little drop out of this, but I do wanna, I do wanna kinda use it for this year and then say goodbye to it. Next up is a tinted lip balm. So this is the Tower 28 Juice Balm Tinted Lip Balm in Mix. I picked this particular one because it's a clean beauty brand. So I'm afraid it's gonna go off. Um, it's also very, very creamy. So I feel like I'm gonna go through this pretty quickly. I don't, there's not a whole lot of product in this. Like it's not huge. So I think this is an item that I can finish by the end of this year. Next up is an older product in my collection, but I haven't used it a whole lot. It's this Tarte, uh, what's the full name? Lip Surgeon Slip Cream in Nurturing. And it actually used to be more like cinnamon, cinnamony plumping. And I feel like that's dissipated because I've had this for so long. This one has a lot of product in it. So you can see it's pretty big for, for how long I've had this. My goal is to kind of just trim off that top or like use enough that when I twist it down, it, it's below below the top. I don't know how long that will take. This is a color I don't wear a whole lot, so that's why I kind of have a pretty low goal on it. I just want to get more use out of this because I do see myself eventually decluttering this at some point, maybe not this year, but I, yeah, I just want to get more use out of it. It's something that's gotten lost in my collection over time. Next up is an Hourglass product. Now I almost put in my Hourglass, the like slim lipstick in this project, but it's a pink lipstick or a red lipstick. And I was like, eh, and then I have 10 items already. And I was like, I don't know if I want to pro like pan pan that or work on it that much, but I do want to use that product a little bit more this year. So I might kind of throw it in here at some point, uh, but I picked this one uh, because this is something I think I can finish this year. This is the Hourglass Lip Stilo in Futurist and that's all there is. So it's a pretty small amount of product. I feel like this is definitely achievable to finish. Um, it's kind of a softer lip product um, and it's a nice sheer, like I can just sort of throw it on. It's almost like a tinted lip balm. The next one I picked is another older product. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Lip Paint in Nude Star. Kind of like the Revlon product. This will be done when I say it's done. It's drying out already and I feel like I won't finish finish. Like it won't be cleared out all the way. Um, but I like this product. Again, it can kind of go on sheer. Um, it's got a, a nice like lemony kind of scent. Um, and yeah, I enjoy using this. I enjoy wearing this color, uh, but it's a product that I I kind of just want to use it and move it out of my collection. I don't know if they still sell these anymore. And the remaining four items are all lipsticks. And when I was looking at my collection, I do want to downsize my lipstick portion of my lip collection a little bit. I think I have around 52. Um, I'd be more comfortable in like the 30, 40 range. The 30 range I think would be a lot better. Um, although with all of these, I think only one of them I, I want to actually finish. Um, but I want to get some more use out of these. And I kind of want to that might be something I mean. do part of this project is sort of go through my lipsticks and really 
really figure out which ones I want to keep and maybe maybe let go of some of them that I just know I'm not going to wear very often. Um, so the first lipstick I picked was the Bite Amuse Bouche in Rhubarb. We know how long these take to finish. I did not finish my one from last year. Um, this is the oldest one that I have. So I just want to get some more use out of this. And then I think I might... I might say goodbye to this. I have chai and pepper and I like both of those as well. And they're both a little bit newer than this one. Um, so there's that one. Next up is another mini lipstick. This is from Mac in the shade Boca. Kind of like one of the earlier products that I said, I forget what one was, nurturing the tart one. This one just doesn't get used in my collection. It gets forgotten, but it's fairly like for a mini, that is a lot of lipstick. Uh, this was in a trio for a MAC holiday set from like 2018, 2019, somewhere in that range. Um, and this one is in like a cream formula or a satin formula. So I quite like this one. I think it'll be easier, easy to wear. If I can get this like maybe halfway, I've marked all these in my book as well. So I can tell if I get like halfway or a third of the way or a quarter of the way. So this one I'd like to maybe get halfway done. That would be a, a nice goal, I think for me. Um... Next up is one that I actually want to finish. So this is a bringing back from another project. Uh, this is the Color Workshop lipstick in just a pink shade. And there's so little left in this that I just need to finish it. And I know I could use this as a lipstick and a blush. It would be a great blush color. It is a great blush color. The problem is it makes me break out. <laughs> um, so I can't use it as a blush, which is super annoying. Otherwise I could definitely get through this a lot faster. Um, but I, I'm pretty sure I can finish this by the end of the year. So I want to finish that one. And then another lipstick again, just kind of like the other ones that I feel like I don't use very often, but I really enjoy is the Rimmel, the only one in the shade It's a Keeper. And again, this is almost like a very tinted lip balm, like even the shape of it is kind of lip balmy. Um, and it does actually like leave a bit of a stain on my lips too, which I don't mind. I kind of like that. Um, so yeah, this is another one that's like, it's a fair amount in this. If I can maybe get a third a third of this done, a third to a half in that range, I would be happy um, with that. This one also has like a really nice smell. I don't know, it's like a sweet, like a candy smell, sweet candy smell. So, so yeah, those are the products. Um, it's just gonna be a straight up project pan. I, like I said, I just kinda wanna use, use them. No family photo, I'll probably put up photos. Maybe at the end, I'll just put like a status photo of them all. Um, I don't wanna do a family photo because I, like I said, I'm going to kind of use these at different rates. I'm not going to use these exclusively. I'm still going to use other stuff in my collection. So having said that, I'm not even sure I'm going to do an update for this project every single month because it could be pretty slow going, especially at the beginning. So I think the next update for this project will be whenever I have some good progress that I want to share. <laughs> That's basically it. Um, it's a double-edged knife doing that, double-edged sword doing that, because sometimes having monthly updates forces you to use these products or forces you to project pan because you're like, oh, I've got an update coming. I want to I want to use things so I can show progress. Um, but at the same time, it's like, especially near the beginning of project pans, the progress is always like, wah, wah. it's always a little slow because it's like you're just getting the wheels turning. Um, Way. I hope you liked this video. If you did, feel free to give a little thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel here in Toronto, Canada. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.